All right, so now that everything's been traced, your clothes are done, your face is done, your hair is done, all your accessories are done, we're going to add a background color. Now you can add a background color that's a solid color, or you can add a gradient, which is essentially uh, multiple colors that like blend into one another. Um, but before we add those colors, we actually have to make a square or a rectangle to put the color in, to dump that color in. So we're going to use the rectangle tool over in your toolbar. So single click that, start in your top left corner and drag out a rectangle that is the exact size as your paper, okay? Now if you wanted to fill it with a solid color, just go into your swatches and choose a solid color, or you can go into your fill color here by double clicking on it and you can actually make your own color to fill in the background with. Now if you wanted to explore gradients, um, we need to load the gradient library for you to choose from. So in order to do that, you want to make sure that your swatches are open by clicking the window drop down menu and making sure a check mark is next to the swatches option. Now my swatches are already here and I've already loaded all my gradients into it, but I'm going to show you how. Um, here in the bottom left corner, or excuse me, top right corner, you want to click your palette options, go to open swatch library, gradients, and then choose any of these options and they will pop up for you. So here they are, tints and shades. And now I can choose from one of these gradients. Now if you wanted to change one of these gradients and not use one that's already built for you, uh, you can open this little window right here, which is your gradient palette, by going to the window drop down menu, making sure gradient has a check mark next to it, and then this window will pop up. And what you can do from here is you can add your swatch colors to this gradient. So I just have to open up my swatches because they are not open. And they're basically too big. All right, so what I'm gonna do is add this hot pink color to my gradient. So all I need to do is click, drag it down to my gradient, and let go. Notice that little green plus sign that was there? Uh, that added, that showed that you're adding the color. Now let's say I don't really want this other blue to be in there. To remove that, you simply just click, drag it out, and it disappears. Okay? Now you can play with these sliders. These are your center points, which determines how much blend is going into the other color. Um, you can also swap out colors. So let's say I don't want this blue, but I'm going to add it with an orange. I can change this to be the color orange and make my gradient that way. Okay. Once you've got a background that you're satisfied and you're satisfied with your cartoon and there's no gaps and there's no shapes in there, uh, no spaces, you're ready to print. So I want you to do a file save. And we're going to go ahead and print this. Now you want to print it to the Toshiba Universal Printer um, and make sure that when you print, you tell it to, in scaling, to fit to page. Okay? If you don't, you're going to lose parts of your head because it's not the same exact size as the paper settings. Okay? So once you choose fit to page, click print, and then go ahead and hand it in to me. Great job, you guys.